Cobra DVS here, and um, it's been 11 months, I think. Some, uh, I think it's YouTube says 11 months since my last pickup video, so probably 10 months since I've even made a video. Um, look, I mean, I was dead. What do you want me to say? I'm back from the dead. You know, people always ask you when you go missing, did you die? Yeah, I actually died for 10 months. Um, but now I'm resurrected, I guess. So anyway, uh, I'm back regardless for now anyway. I mean, it's not like, in, in all honesty, um, it's not like there was anything preventing me from making videos. My house didn't burn down. I didn't, oh, I didn't actually die. Um, there, there was, there was nothing really preventing me from making videos. I just kind of lost the desire, I guess. Um, there were a few times where I was like, you know, I could make a video, but the amount of shit I've got. I just, I would have to be in this mood, and, uh, I don't know if I'm in the mood, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway, um, and there was a lot to go over, and I can't do it without a cup of coffee, but I'm going to try, uh, first things first, the collection in general has slimmed down, um, I got rid of shit that I didn't care about, shit I didn't want, shit that was just shit, so I got rid of a lot of stuff, uh, I concentrated, I guess, would be a better way to put it. A better way to put it. Um, I just concentrated on stuff that I wanted to concentrate on. You know, mostly uh, my Zelda stuff and some other things. But um, you know, there comes a point where I realized, or there came a point where I realized, you know, there's no sense in having a thousand video games if I play six of them. You know what I mean? So I got rid of a bunch of stuff, um, but I mean, there's a whole ton of stuff here to go over. So I mean, I that was the biggest thing was I don't even know where to start. But I have it organized in a in a way that I'm gonna get it started. Uh, just a few things that I can't actually pick up and show you all the way. You might be able to see the very corner of it, but I got a new TV with like a lot of collection that I sold. Um, it's just a Samsung. It's a smart TV, which is kind of a dumb thing. A smart TV. Um, I don't know, it's just a TV that connects to the internet, nothing special. And then over there you'll maybe see the corner of a bunch of Blu-rays. Um, I have a Blu-ray player now, which I'll get to in a minute, and um, so I can do that. Watch Blu-rays, which are cool. I like collecting Blu-rays now, which, you know, it's okay. Alright, uh, so first things first, the only thing in this whole video that's really not video game related, except for the TV and the Blu-rays, is I got a new phone uh, a few months ago. I got the HTC One M8. Um, now, what this means for me is that my phone is badass. What this means for you is that I won't have uh, morons commenting every, uh, I don't know, there's usually one per video, dude, what's up with your autofocus? Turn that shit off. You know, look, guy, if I knew how to turn it off, I would. The old phone would, like, zoom in, zoom out. The autofocus would run rampant. I've never, uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem here. If it is, fuck off. There's nothing I can do about it. That's all I got to say about it. Don't mention it. If it's doing it, don't mention it. Don't mention it because I already did, and I'm not going to change the video. I'm not going to redo this video just because the autofocus is, is shitty. But it shouldn't happen, so that's good. Um, and on a, a, a lighter note, the phone's really awesome. I love it. So there's that. Um, all right, now we can get into the video game stuff. And uh, boys, there are a lot of it. So let's just get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, I got a new console now. I have the console. Uh, it's I have the box, and I would normally show the box, but it's in a position in my closet where getting it out. I mean, it it's just not coming out. The box is like cornered. I'm just not doing it. But it's an Xbox One, and I just show you an Xbox One game controller box as in its place. Um, I got the Xbox One. I did a trade actually with uh, the video game Shark back in January. Um, and I've had it since January. And let me go ahead and show you some of the games I've got. Not very many. Um, probably my favorite game on the console is Wolfenstein: The New Order. A uh, fun shooter. You know, it's 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 a it's a um, classic type, I guess. I don't know. It's not really like Doom or anything because it's linear. But uh, whatever. Uh, Tomb Raider: Definitive Edition. Holy shit! Definitive Edition. Definitive. Uh, if I could define that for you, I would. Only a few of you will probably get that joke. But anyway, uh, I played only a few minutes of that, and it it, it was okay, nothing special. Uh, but I'll, I don't know, I'll, the more I get into it, the more I'll enjoy it. Call of Duty Ghosts, bleh. Uh, coming off Black Ops 2, I would say Ghost was a huge disappointment for me, anyway. And then Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. That's a pretty fun game. 
Um, nothing too special, but it, it's fun. And then I have Titanfall on my console. Titanfall, um, it's a fun game. It's solid. Uh, it just has no replayability. Like, I haven't played the game in months. I have no desire to play it. Uh, it just didn't do it for me. Fun game. Nothing broken about it. Just not unique enough, I guess. Um, all right, a couple Xbox 360 games. Just three. Uh, I don't. Even, my brother has my 360, so I've barely even played it. I haven't played this one. Serious Sam Collection. I haven't played that. Uh, Metal Gear Rising. Played this. Did not really care for it much at all. Um, uh, and then Bioshock Infinite. Haven't played this, but I really wanted to. So uh, there's that. Um, uh, one thing also to note: if I have shown any of this before, I apologize. I'm no. Um, I can't. I, I, it's been so long, some of this may have been shown. Most of it has not, though. Um, in fact, 99% hasn't. There might be a rare thing that slips in, but whatever. All right, I'm going new to old, by the way, so this is the newer stuff. If it's not your thing, um, fast forward, I guess. All right, so here's some Wii U stuff. Uh, but first, just one 3DS game, and that's Mario Golf. What? Mario Golf World Tour. Uh, really great. Like this a lot. Um, not as good as the Game Boy Color one, which is my favorite. Uh, it's probably not quite as fun as Toadstool Tour, but it's really fun. Um, that's a good game. I've al I also did have Yoshi's Island for a little while, but I just didn't care for it, so I ended up getting rid of it. Uh, just not as fun as the Super Nintendo one. Uh, this is actually sealed, because uh, I got it for like $6 on eBay, and I haven't opened it yet. I only got it like last week. Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, I said $6. I mean, I bought it, and I expected not to get it to be some sort of scam, but no, I did get it, and it's $6. Uh, I don't think I've showed this yet, but I may have. Deus Ex Human Revolution. I don't know if I showed this or not. Uh, that's a cool game. I wish I played it more, though. Um, uh, but it is cool, and it's really cool on Wii U with the gamepad. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, Chopper Freeze. Amazing game. Definitely beat this one. Um, really had a lot of fun. Extremely difficult, but um, well worth it. Uh, actually, I haven't played this one either. DuckTales Remastered. Um, I went ahead and got it at Target because it comes with a little pin, which is right there. And uh, Well, the the pin's not right there, but it says that it comes with a pin. It's just a little bonus thing, a variant, I guess. Um, I haven't played this yet either, sadly, but I have heard it's good. <coughs> and you're going to kill me. I swear this is... Actually, this isn't the last one, but I haven't played Game & Wario yet either. Um, I, look, I don't know why. I, I, where did I get this? I got this on sale somewhere. It was really cheap. I don't remember where it was, though. Oh, it was at Target. I got it on... I price matched Best Buy for, like, 10, 20 bucks, I think it was. Um, this one I did play, Lego The Hobbit. I enjoyed uh, what I played of this. I didn't play through all of it, but it, it was a fun game. Um, I do like The Hobbit. Uh, not huge into Lego games, but that one was pretty fun. Uh, this game was excellent, Mario Kart 8. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, missed opportunity a little bit with some of the online stuff, but that's Nintendo, so what are you going to do? Um, but excellent game. I would say it's probably... I'd say it's probably better than Mario Kart 7. Uh, this was a cool game that I actually enjoyed more than I thought I would. Sniper Elite V2. Got this for 20 bucks at GameStop. Don't pay any more than that because it's a very slimmed down version of the game. Um, it has no multiplayer or anything like that. But the campaign's there, and it is a fun game. It's a budget title, but it's still it's still pretty fun. Uh, this was excellent, too. Sonic All-Star Racing. I don't think I showed this yet. Ooh, what I may have. Uh, I got this from the King of 8-Bit, and this was... Uh, this was really good. Uh, still, well, it still is good, but I had a lot of fun with that one. Not as much fun as Mario Kart, I wouldn't say, but still great. Uh, this one I bought when it was on sale for I think it was like thirty bucks, and I really only bought it because it has um, Mario or has Yoshi's Island and Zelda DLC, and I wanted to really try that out, and I did. And it was fun. As far as the main game goes, though, I barely, barely touched it. Um, kind of mixed. I'm not a huge Sonic fan, but <coughs> it's sort of been okay. Uh, this was a uh, $10 at Best Buy. It was SpongeBob, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. You know, a budget title. Not not the worst game I've ever played by far, but it's not nearly as good as, like, Battle for Bikini Bottom or anything like that. Uh, now, this game was amazing. Super Mario 3D World. I actually liked this a lot more than I thought I would. It's not as good as, like, a Mario... It's not the Mario 64 type or Mario Sunshine type game that I think everybody wants at this point, but it's fun. And then this one is actually, I haven't played this either. It was just really cheap at GameStop, so it was The Walking Dead. I've heard shitty things, um, and I believe those shitty things, because it doesn't look very good. Um, but those are a bunch of Wii U games I got. Like I said, I haven't played them all, um, but I did play the majority of them. And, um, you know, I, I think the Wii U's coming along.
Um, for me, I'm playing it a lot more than I'm playing my Xbox One. I didn't say it when I had when I showed the Xbox Xbox One games, but honestly, I'm just not really digging the Xbox One yet. I feel I feel like I feel like it should have happened by now, but I'm just not. I don't. I, there's not a whole lot on it to play, and what is on there, I can get on other generation consoles. So I, I pretty much anything I have, every game that I have for Xbox One. I can play on my Xbox 360. It might be slightly downgraded, but the gameplay is going to be similar. Um, so I don't know. There's just nothing that really makes me come back to it. Now I'm really looking forward to the Halo Master Chief Collection. Once that hits, then that'll change. But until then, uh, I'm just not very impressed uh, at all. Sadly, I wish I was, but I'm, I'm just not blown away. Uh, it's pretty much an Xbox 360 with better graphics, um, which is still fine. Actually, it's not even as good as the Xbox 360. It doesn't have, doesn't have nearly the game library yet. Okay, um... Uh, let's just keep let's keep going on to PlayStation stuff. Yeah, I have a PlayStation now. Uh, just two games. Uh, first one's Final Doom. Uh, played it. You know, this is actually a really good version of Doom. Um, and then I have the long box version of Doom. Uh, you know, as far as console ports go, these are the best ones. Absolutely. I mean, the way they run and control. Um, it's probably the uh, probably the best I've ever played. It's, it, well, except for like the Xbox uh, or Xbox Live versions. Um, as far as classic consoles, these ones are definitely the best. So uh, definitely better than the Saturn and um, you know, especially like the 32X and especially the Super Nintendo. Uh, I've never played uh, I've never played the Jaguar version, but I would imagine they're not as good as that anyway. Okay. Um, Oh boy, okay, let's just keep going. This is kind of random and heavy, but it's, uh, I forget how I got this. I think I bought this on like Nintendo Age or something for a really good price, but it's a Model 1 Sega CD, fully functional. Actually, you know what I traded? I don't remember what I traded, but I do remember that I did trade for it. Uh, fully functional, disk drive works and everything, it was just too good of a deal to pass out. So, um, the Sega CD Model 1 is probably one of the most badass things ever. So, uh, I definitely like having it. I don't use it very often because I have a CDX, but um, it's, it's definitely really, really cool to have. And hard to find working. Speaking of CDX, I don't know if I showed this or not, but I finally tracked down a CDX power adapter. Um, yeah, a, an original one. Um, these are pretty hard to get, and they're pretty expensive, but I got a good deal from actually a friend of mine. I think it was like 20 bucks, and uh, so... I'm happy about that. It's you know, cool to have, finally. Alright, uh, let's move on to some Sega Saturn stuff. Alright, I've got five games for the Saturn here. Um, I thought there were more of that than that, but I guess there's not. The first one is <clears throat> uh, Three Dirty Dwarves. Fun game. Um, it's a beat-em-up type of deal. I think this is on PC as well, I think. But it's kind of a Saturn exclusive, but also on PC, I guess. Um... Fun game, tough, but uh, I've heard it's better with more than one person, like co-op, but I haven't had the opportunity. Uh, next game is Super Puzzle Fighter 2. This game is excellent. I love this game. This game was a lot of fun. Actually, surprising how much I liked it, but uh, I had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, this game, I, I kind of expected to like more than I actually did. It was Guardian Heroes. I don't dislike it or anything. I was just, and it was actually pretty good from what I played, but um, I haven't gone back to it. I feel like if I really liked the game, I would have by now. Uh, this one's a pretty common game on PlayStation, PlayStation, but it's hard to get on Saturn. That Contra Legacy of War um, doesn't come with the 3D glasses, unfortunately, but it's in okay shape. Um, not the greatest game ever, but it's far from unplayable. Uh, and then the last one is Bubble Bobble, which also has also has a uh, Rainbow Islands, which is the main reason I bought this because I love Rainbow Islands. Um, so this is a cool little little bundle set here. Um, and those are just five Saturn games I got randomly. I, I sold off a lot of Saturn games, um, so most of the games I have now are pretty damn good. And there's really not a whole lot left on the console that I want, so... Uh, I'm not done with the Saturn, necessarily, but there's just not a whole lot left for me. Right, and then one random Game Gear game. I got this on Nintendo Age, or Sega Age, one of the two. Uh, maybe it was even Atari Age, fuck, I don't know. But the guy was from France, I think, so it was a little risky, but he was asking an extremely fair price, and I forget what it was, but I think it was like a, I think it was 120 bucks. Maybe it was 115 
uh, shipped, and it was a complete copy of Battletoads on Game Gear, the NTSC version. Um, I bought a box protector for it, because why not? Um, and, yeah, I'm just kind of glad to have this. I actually have every Battletoads game released in the U.S. now. Um, I don't have them all complete in box. The only ones I'm missing are Ragnarok's World and Battletoads Double Dragon on Game Boy. If I could get those two complete in box, then I'd have them all complete. But, um, but that's really cool, so... Uh, I, did I play this? I don't actually think I played this, did I? You know, I, I don't remember. I was going to comment on how I liked it, but I don't even remember. That's probably not good. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I am glad to have it, at least. Alright, um, let's move on to Super Nintendo and NES. This is pretty nuts. This is some pretty good stuff here. Uh, keeping with Battletoads, uh, the Battletoads theme, here's a copy of Battletoads Double Dragon Complete. Um, this was on eBay, I believe. It was a buy it now, and it was just a good price, and I already had a cartridge, so I could just sell my cartridge and kind of make some of my money back, which I did do, and this ended up not costing me very much at all. So, uh, but that's a, this is a pretty hard one to get, I guess, um, for a good price. So, I was happy to get it. Uh, a really excellent game, too, by the way. This is one of my favorite NES games. Um, so, there's that. Um, Alright, this I've had the cartridge forever. I just managed to get a box and manual for it. It's a star box. Pretty good shape. I don't, I think this was just an eBay. I don't, I don't actually remember, but it was cheap. It was a good price. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. So there's Star Fox. Uh, this was in a Super Nintendo lot um, for I think it was like 50 bucks. And this was the only game out of the lot that I kept. And it was Wolfenstein 3D. Now, the game didn't have a manual, and I fucking hate buying ga uh, buying uh, boxed games without manuals but I bought this one because it was a you know it was in a good price uh, lot and I ended up buying a manual so it's complete now it's in pretty damn good shape not mint but pretty good I'm happy with it um, I mean I don't, the guy on the cover first of all he doesn't even he doesn't even look like he has eyeballs and I don't, he just looks too feminine I don't know something about him he looks kind of I don't know, goofy. Not like, it looks completely different from the BJ Blaskowitz in the uh, new Wolfenstein, I can tell you that. Alright, uh, speaking of Wolf, Wolf Child, I uh, thought this game was going to be okay, because uh, I saw a, a John Hancock video, I think it was, I think he said he liked this game with Metal Jesus Rocks or something. Um, turns out the game was terrible, so that was a misjudgment on my part. Alright, um, again, another Battletoads game, Battletoads Double Dragon. This one was really cool to get. It's in beautiful condition, 100% complete, I think. If not 100%, really close. Um, and just got a, I, I think I did a trade for this. I don't really remember, but, um, anyway, I was happy to get this one, because this one actually is harder to get than I, than it should be, because the cartridge is not uncommon whatsoever. But this game seems to be hard to get for a good price, complete. But I fin finally managed to do it, so that's good. Um, alright, I'll save the, well, probably, I don't know if it's the best, but whatever. Uh, this time, actually, I've had Chrono Trigger complete for a really long time, but I did a box upgrade through a trade with, uh, the King of 8-Bit. I, I, is that, I don't, I think that's his name now. I, it's either that or the Zohan Gamer. Who the fuck ever it is. Uh, you know, the same guy. So I did the trade with him. Um, the box is in really nice condition. Um... Almost, I don't, I don't want to say flawless, because it's not, um, but it's really, really nice, and it's 100% complete, that one I'm pretty certain of. Um, so I'm really happy to get that, and as a part of the trade, actually, I got this Chrono Trigger guide, which is very cool. Uh, this is in excellent condition, and um, I'm not a huge RPG player, but uh, I do appreciate uh, them. I do appreciate them, I guess, would be the way to say it. But uh, I, I have enjoyed Chrono Trigger. I've played it on the Super Nintendo and the DS, and I've liked what it played. It's just hard for me to get into RPGs for a long time. So, Okay, and then my favorite, probably, of all the ones I got, is a complete copy of Sunset Riders. This one was, I think, 90 bucks, uh, which is an excellent price for one in this condition. So, um, Really fun game. Compared to the Sega Genesis version, there's really not much of a comparison. This one's kind of a lot better um, in almost every way far as I could tell. So, uh, definitely, if you're going to pick one of the two, definitely go with the Super Nintendo one. Uh, not to say the Genesis one's bad, in what I, in, in, by any means. Um, I would just say this one's better. Um, uh, unfortunately, more expensive, too. But, uh, whatever. Okay, 
Alright, um... How are we gonna do this? This, I think I showed already. I'm pretty sure I showed this in my last Pickles video, but it's a Super Nintendo uh, Zelda bundle. I'm pretty sure I showed this, I'm just re-showing it. Uh, I guess, for no reason. Uh, Super Nintendo Zelda bundle, that was really cool. Um, just to go for the Zelda set, really. Um, Alright, so I've got two little things left. And I'm gonna need a drink. Alright, so as you know, I have a complete Zelda collection now. I uploaded a video. I'm missing the CDI games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save it. I don't care. Um, I'm missing those, but other than that, I've got everything. Um, but I didn't show any of it in a video other than just my complete Zelda set. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that now. So this is all the shit that I've uh, gotten Zelda related over the little uh, past little while. I got both of the N64 not for resale cartridges, uh, the Majora's Mask and the Ocarina of Time. Uh, these are very easy to get um, from people because they slip under the radar because they either don't know the difference between the not for resale and the regular version or uh, they don't even notice that it says anything different. So um, I was able to get these for price of regular oh no you know what I bought this one from Intellivision too but this one I was able to get for the regular price of Ocarina of Time uh, which was pretty cool um, just neat little tidbits for the collection nothing too special about it alright um, right. so let's go alright first game Minish Cap uh, complete really nice condition on that one um, Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link or The Adventure of Link um, also in nice condition. Got the original Legend of Zelda for Game Boy Advance. I don't think I showed these. I may have showed these. I don't know. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Four Swords, uh, Link to the Past, Four Swords. Um, pretty much just a Link to the Past, as far as I know. I've actually not played that one. Um, I'd rather play it on Super Nintendo. I got Oracle of Ages. I actually did a or Oracle of Seasons. I actually did do a box upgrade on this recently, so this is something worth showing, I guess. Um, so this one's in really beautiful shape. And then, uh, as in, in just as good a shape as Oracle of Ages, um, complete. So those are cool games to have. Uh, this one's also pretty cool. Legend of Zelda DX. Um, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Pretty much the same as the, NES, or the Game Boy one, except the little editions, and it's in color, I guess, now. Uh, yeah. So, that's, that's cool. Um, Alright. And then, I got... Uh, the newest Zelda game, A Link Between Worlds. Um, you know, this is actually sealed because, well, I'll just show you, because I ended up getting this too, um, and it's already pre-installed on here, so I just, I have it on this, um, so I just ended up keeping this sealed, but I bought it for the collection. Um, look, I don't know how popular of an opinion this is, uh, but I think A Link Between Worlds is actually a little bit overrated, because I didn't... There are a few things about it I didn't like. Uh, first thing, though, by the way, uh, this console, I love this. Uh, I upgraded to the XL. It's way more comfortable, way better, in pretty much every way possible. And then to have the cool Zelda decal on it really makes it worthwhile. But the thing I didn't like about A Link Between Worlds essentially seems to be one of the things that most people love about it. And that's the items, like how it's, um, y y like, you just buy them and rent them. It, I, I don't know. It just doesn't feel rewarding to me. It makes the game feel a little bit too easy. Yeah, it allows me to play the dungeons in any way I want, but if you're going to do that, just make it some way to where I have to earn these things, and then I can go in any direction I want. Like, let me talk to somebody who says, looking for the ice rod? Well, I've heard rumors that it's in the northern, northeastern part of the map or something. I, you know, like, make me earn it. Make me find it. There's no sense of reward when it's just I buy it. So that was my only problem. Um... And some of the dungeons rely too heavily on like the 3D, which I get because it's on the 3DS, but whatever. Uh, I still liked it a lot, but um, I don't think it's quite as good as a lot of people are saying. I prefer A Link to the Past, definitely. But um, I prefer other Zelda games over it a lot, too. <sighs> okay, and then um, I got the two um, DS ones. So those are cool, too. Um, Alright, now it's time for... Just a few more Zelda things, um, but these are all sealed. So a lot of these games I have, but now I have them sealed as well. 
Uh, the first one is uh, the Wind Waker HD GameStop thing. I have it wrapped up in like a plastic kind of casing so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, I got this from GameStop when it was new, um, so I didn't have to like buy it when people were trying to resell it. But um, I really like this. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Ganon figure is pretty neat. A little small, albeit, but not bad. So that's that's nice to have. I like that a lot. All right, and now these are way cooler, if you ask me. Well, not way cooler, but whatever. I don't even know what I was trying to say. I got a sealed copy of Wind Waker HD. This was actually at a uh, tar or a Kmart, my local Kmart, going out of business. So it's still got the sticker on there, but I saved this. It had a tag on it that said it was a 50% off, now $24.99 instead of $50. Um, and I kept my original receipt in the case with it. So uh, it's in a box protector, that's why. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool, something I'd like to keep with it. So that was neat. For 25 bucks, I mean, hell, you can't really complain. Um, all right, next one is a sealed copy of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I got this, I think, from some guy on eBay, if I remember right, who was selling it for really cheap. So I was happy to get that. And I believe I got this from the same guy. It's the uh, Ocarina of Time Master Quest. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, both in really nice shape. This one's got a minor tear on the back of the plastic, but it's not bad. So th that's cool to have. Um, I got Twilight Princess on the Wii. Uh, I just bought this from somebody in a group, I believe, on Facebook for like 20 bucks or, or 25 or 30 something like that. I don't really remember. But uh, it was definitely pretty cool to have because you can't buy this sealed anymore just at the store. So that's pretty cool. And then probably the coolest one is a uh, sealed Twilight Princess on GameCube. I actually paid for this one. I think it was like, oh boy, maybe like 80 bucks or something. I don't actually remember. But um, I thought this one was pretty badass and I was willing to pay for it because uh, while I'm not the biggest Twilight Princess fan, um, I do like the way it looks and how dark it is and everything like that. So that's cool. Um, and uh, just kind of something new to collect for Zelda sealed games. Um, I also have the sealed sealed Skyward Sword Skyward Sword bundle, but I've had that for quite some time. All right, next, um, just a few things. Another collection I was going for. Uh, after I finished Zelda, or after I finished Zelda, I wanted something new to collect for, and I decided to go towards Metroid. So I've had a lot of the Metroid games, so there wasn't a whole lot to go, uh, there wasn't a whole lot left to get, except for the portable ones. So uh, that's pretty much what I did. Uh, the first one, I actually got this as a really, really great price, box and manual only, and then I went ahead and bought a cartridge later on, and um, you know, it might have been just box only, and I bought a cart and manual later on, but regardless, uh, really cool to have this one. I have not played it, but um, still, it's it's hard to find in box, and it's usually expensive, so I was happy to get that for a good price. Uh, all right. Next is Metroid Fusion. I think I got this on Nintendo Age. Um, I'm pretty actually sure I got this on Nintendo Age for a good price. Uh, this was actually the last one that I needed, and I just got it not too long ago, and I need a box protector for it because it's in beautiful shape. It's Metroid Zero Mission, uh, which is just a remake of the first... Metroid uh, for Game Boy Advance. So that's pretty neat. Uh, speaking of the original Metroid, I got the original Metroid on the, uh, the NES Classic Series for Game Boy Advance. Um, this one I got from the same guy I got Metroid Fusion from. And then uh, the easy ones to get Metroid Prime Hunters and Metroid Prime Pinball. Now I've never played Metroid Prime Pinball, but I kind of am a little bit curious. And then the last thing I got for Metroid anyway, is the yellow variant for uh, the NES, which has a much, much cooler cover than the gray one. Um, and I ended up, I had to hunt down a manual for this one, but I finally got it, so I've got a complete copy of that as well. Uh, and then one thing I forgot to show from the Zelda stuff, but I, I managed to get a Link to the Past book strategy guide. A slightly bendy cover, but it's still cool. Um, I think I bought this on eBay a guy listed it with the cartridge for like 25 bucks, so I just bought it and sold the cartridge because I already had it.